Hey guys, uh, in this video, we are going to see uh, how we could uh, change the names uh, of the items we are looking for. For example, right now it's just showing granola where I have uh, searched for fried rice on top. I want fried rice to replace uh, granola. Okay. Also, I want the calorie information to be loaded here and all the other nutritional values for this particular uh, food item that we are looking for for example fried rice all right it has to be loaded within these values like fiber content potassium etc all has to be uh, <clears throat> loaded within this table itself all right so the way we're going to do that is hang on let me just close this up we don't need that uh, the way we're going to do that is we're going to access all right the list that has been provided by uh, the API request. All right, so if you know about lists or if you have uh, uh, learned about uh, how to access an array or a list, so it has got index like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. So we're going to use the same thing here. So what I'm going to do is uh, since this is one single list of items, uh, this has to be uh, index 0, right? And then uh, we have zero dot name, zero dot calories, serving size, uh, zero dot serving size, zero dot fat total, etc. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to my uh, HTML file here, and I'm going to change uh, the name of granola, all right, to the item that we're looking searching for, all right. So I'm going to say I'm going to open up uh, two curly braces. I'm going to say API. All right, so we the reason why we are calling API here is we have mentioned if API here and that if API is coming in from uh, views.py, which has been uh, mentioned here. All right, so that's the reason why you're in, why we are using API. Uh, you could also say uh, something else like say uh, food. All right, you can change this to food, but if you do that, you'll have to change those values here as well. All right, so. Coming back to the home.html, I'm going to change this to API.0 because we are accessing uh, the first item of the list and dot name. All right, I'm going to save that. All right, I'm going to come back to my HTML page and hit refresh. All right, nice. So it says fried rice has a total of 100 calories, but Calories is 174.5. We want that to be displayed here. So I'm going to come back to my uh, home.html file and I'm where it says 100. I'm going to remove that, add into curly braces and say api.0. And we need to look at, uh, I can just fetch that from my uh, command uh, terminal here. I'm just going to say calories, control C. Or you can always always go back to HTML and just uh, look at this and uh, copy it from here as well. It's the same. So since I have access to this in my uh, terminal in uh, VS Code, I'm going to use this. Control C, Control V, and I'm going to come back. Hit refresh. Say continue. The fried rice has a total of 174.7 calories. Right. So uh, that's good. That's really nice. Uh, we are starting to populate our page with actual real data. And uh, let's say uh, Italy has a total of 153.9 calories. But if you look at this uh, nutritional value table here, it's uh, still not uh, loading the actual data. So we're going to fix that. So let's come down here to nutritional values. Right? And it says carbohydrates. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select carbohydrates from here, control C, uh, select carbohydrate, open, delete this, open up to curly braces and say API dot zero because it's still accessing the same list at the index of zero and control V and close this with those curly braces and hit refresh. Right, so our carbohydrates uh, is being loaded. Add that to cholesterol and saturated fat as well. Control uh, C this. 
Ctrl C, uh, cholesterol, where is cholesterol here? Uh, cholesterol, cholesterol, cholesterol. There it is. Copy that. Uh, let's go back. Uh, cholesterol M underscore MG, Ctrl C. And I'm gonna paste that uh, here. All right, then it's saturated fat. So fat saturated is here. Control C. Copy that. All right. Uh, let's keep it here for now. I'll copy this. Control C. Control V. X. Control V. Okay, so what I'm gonna do again is I'm gonna copy all of this. Control C. And I'm gonna replace this here. Right. So I'm going to start filling up uh, all these things like I would, uh, up till I have added in up till saturated fat. So I have total fat, fiber content, potassium. So what I want you guys to do is uh, go through the list here and find out where those are right, and add that into your HTML file. So I'm going to stop this video here and I'm going to fill this uh, off screen. All right, and then I'll see you in the next video where uh, we'll be looking at uh, adding the exercise options here. All right.